Today we're going to learn how to use and read a inch micrometer. So there's a couple different styles of micrometers. This one uh, is zero to one inch. Um, they go up as big in the kit that we have anyway. It goes up as big as uh, three to four inch micrometers. So that's how big they are. So the micrometers only measure the last inch. So this three to four inch micrometer, when the thimble is rolled all the way in, there's going to be a three inch gap here. Now, before you start using your micrometer, you always want to make sure that you calibrate it. And to calibrate the micrometer, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is twist the thimble all the way in until the, the thimble and the anvil meet and your reading should be zero. So if you look at that reading right up there at the top, those the zero line should line up with the main line here. Now, um, there's a couple of parts to the, uh, the micrometer that you need to be aware of. And so the parts of a micrometer are, we've got the anvil, which is this piece right here. We've got the thimble, which is this piece right here. The thimble is the one that screws in and out. This is the lock. This piece right here, and I'll open it up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better, is the main scale. Now this is a one ten thousandths of an inch micrometer. And so uh, it's going to measure um, in ten thousandths of an inch is how, we'll, how far we can measure down to. Each one of these little marks equals 25 thousandths of an inch. And so this is your main scale here. This is your uh, next scale. And this one is your third scale. So those three scales are what we're going to read on the micrometer. This piece right here is part of your thimble. That's what screws this in and out. And then on some micrometers, this piece over here on the end is going to be your ratcheting um, part of your thimble. But on this particular micrometer, the ratchet is right here in the handle. So this older micrometer that I have here, uh, this is one that the ratchet is right here on the on the handle. So that's where the ratchet is on that. And this one, instead of have a locking lever, it has a locking collar. So you just twist that collar to lock it in place. So each one of these thimbles on, or each one of these marks on the thimble equals one thousandths of an inch. So if we start at zero and we rotate one ro revolution around, that's zero, you can see we've got one grad graduation right there. I can zoom that in a little bit. So we've got one graduation right there. So that's the, the so this scale down here on the bottom is going to read in 25 thousandths of an inch. And each number, when you come to a number, that's going to read um, 100 thousandths of an inch. So we've got 100 thousand, 200 thousand, and 25 each. So think about it kind of like a, um, in graduations of like a, a dollar bill. So you have one dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Well, what makes up a dollar? 25 cents, so quarters. So each one of these marks is a quarter. So that's 25, 50, 75, one. 25, 50, 75, one. And uh, each one of these over here obviously is one. And then this over here, this scale on the back side, this one is going to be your ten thousandths scale. So this is what we're going to read on the 10 thousandths scale. Okay, we're going to take a measurement with this micrometer. So I'm going to hold the micrometer in my hand like this. And that way I can hold whatever it is that I'm measuring in this fashion. And that leaves my right hand to operate the thimble. So I back this up until I can get my valve stem into the micrometer. And then I'm going to tighten it up until it ratchets. Okay, so now I've got my anvil and my thimble are right up against the valve stem and it ratchets a little bit. So now I'm going to lock it into place. So I'm just going to move that lock lever over. It doesn't take very much pressure. So you have to be careful because those do break. And then I can remove the valve stem out of the, the micrometer. And now the micrometer is the reading is locked. So what I can do 
is I can make my reading. So the first reading that you're going to make is on the main scale. So if I look at the main scale here, I've got 0, 1, 2. So after the 2, I've got a, a 2 hash marks. So I've got 25 and 50. But I can't quite see the 75. So I don't count it. If I can't see it, I don't count it. So this first measurement is going to be 0 0.250. So we'll start out here by point two five zero now my second reading is going to be on the one thousandths scale on the thimble now if you notice um, here's my main line right here my main measurement measuring line right here anything below that I want to look at the last notch below that line so the last notch is this one right here so if I look at it I've got a 20 so that's 20, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that is going to read point zero two four. Now the last number I'm going to read is my ten thousandths scale. And that's this one up here. Now the mistake that a lot of people use is you don't want to read these numbers on the thimble. You want to read these numbers that are on the shaft. But what you want to do is you want to look and see which one of these lines match up with the hash marks on the shaft. Okay, so as I look this over, this one right here is the one that lines up. So if you look at number one here, it doesn't quite line up. Number two is a little bit better, but number three lines up almost perfectly. And then number four is not quite, and then, and then it gets worse as you go up. So it's three. Now, if you're going to write that down, you would write it down like this, 0 0.0003. And then you would add those all up. And that would be your measurement. But I'm going to show you an easier way. So because what happens is, is a lot of times people forget that last zero in here. So instead of writing it like that, what I'm going to do is after I make my first two measurements, okay, so I've read my measurement on the main scale, I've read my one thousandths measurement, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those up. So we have four, seven, two. So it's 0.274. And then for my last number, that was that three right up here on the scale. I'm just going to tack it to the end. Red pen's almost out, so I'm just going to tack it on here with there. there. So, so that's how you uh, use a micrometer. So let's do another um, measurement real quick, and we'll see what we can come up with on that one. So this is another valve, but it's a much smaller valve. So if you look at these two valves, they're different diameter. So I'm going to take a measurement on that. So there again, holding my micrometer in my hand like this, I can hold my valve stem like so. And then I can tighten up my thimble till it ratchets lock it in place. I can remove my valve stem. Now I'm going to read, take my measurements. And my first measurement is going to be two and I got one hash mark there. So that's going to be 0.225. And then my second measurement is going to be right here on this scale on the thimble. So the mark that's just below the main scale right here is a nine. So that's, you can see there's a five there, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's point zero zero nine. Add those together. 
234, 234 thousandths. Now my last measurement is going to be right up here on the top scale. And so all I have to do is look around on this scale until I find the line that matches up the best. And it looks like it's going to be a three, just like the last time. So the three lines up the best. So I'm going to add that to the end. So there's my measurement for this valve is going to be the 0.2343. That's that, and that's how you read a micrometer. Metric micrometers are similar, but they measure, um, their, their numbers will be a little bit different. Um, this one here is, I believe a me metric mic micrometer. So you can see the number graduations are a little bit different on there, but it reads out the same way. You're still going to read your main scale first, then your thimble, and then your top scale. So those are the three scales that you're going to, that you're going to read main scale, thimble, and top scale. So happy measuring.